So last week and this week, we ended up getting two Intel drops for Modern Warfare 2, presumably the first two of a series of them, perhaps once a week, perhaps more. They weren't really dropped a week apart, but rather six days. So maybe we end up getting more than a weekly basis at some point, but regardless, we're likely to be seeing more. But for the time being, while we got these Intel drops, one of them gave us some insight into new Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, the first of its kind that we saw for the multiplayer side of things. And then in between those Intel drops, we got a mini teaser trailer for the Modern Warfare 2 campaign early access, which showed off a handful of new weapons that we haven't seen quite before. So today we're breaking those down while continuing our sort of everything you should know style series here leading up to the reveal event in just under a month's time. We recently touched on all of the multiplayer maps that we've seen officially, unofficially, and leaked. So today I want to take a look at the updated weapons list now that we've seen actually some more solid number of weapons shown off. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to any particular weapon? Anything that you'd like to see added to this list here are weapon armory for Modern Warfare 2 beyond what we've already seen officially and unofficially speaking like a dream weapon of yours, perhaps? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do make sure to hit the subscribe button, stay there with all things Modern Warfare 2 as we gear up for the reveal, beta, and launch, all in just about a span of two months' time or so. Lots of stuff coming, so you don't want to miss any of that. If you'd like to join us on the road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you. And finally, today and throughout the weekend, my friends at G Fuel have bumped up Code Espresso to 30% off your entire order. So if you guys would like to grab a restock or try something out for the very first time, head on over to the link in the description below and use code ESPRESSO. Now is as best a time as any. If you need any recommendations, I'd say the Morbius Nectarine flavor, Pink Trip, Hype Sauce, Strawberry Banana, and Starfruit are probably my favorites right now. But that said, let's get back to Modern Warfare 2. So our first sort of foray into this new gameplay and weaponry is, of course, just that Farm 18 preview, the making of the behind the scenes video that we got that only showcased the M4. So you can write that one off real quick that that does confirm the M4 there. But after that, our early access trailer for the campaign of Modern Warfare 2 gave us a decent look at a handful full of actually pretty awesome weapons. Some ones that you may be very excited to see come back. Firstly, in the opening sequence, we saw Soap holding the Remington MSR, a classic sniper rifle that we've seen in Modern Warfare 3. So to see that come back now in Modern Warfare 2 in 2022, I'm excited for that one. We end up seeing that in the first person gameplay, while there's not a whole ton of the weapon scene itself, or at least that's how it was initially. Last night, we talked about how there was a 15 second little teaser for campaign early access that showcased this sequence a little bit further in which people thought this initially was the SIG MCX Spear, but it kind of looks like the Honey Badger. We still don't have a great look at it, and it would make sense for it to be the Honey Badger because we see that being held by Ghost just a few frames later. Seems to be his weapon of choice from the marketing we've seen so far. Alejandro, in the sort of bunched up sequence of operators, ends up holding the SIG MPX. Ghost has his primary shot. He's showcasing the Honey Badger. We see Alejandro sort of base jumping there off that cliff. He has a Glock on his noticeably not holstered side, so just kind of floating there. Fun little detail or error with that trailer. We have that M4 once again popping up with price and other sub variations of it that we'll see later on. And we'll touch on that in a second. And then finally, we see things close out in that trailer with the Barrett MRAD. So a handful of awesome weapons coming back here and confirmed via trailer and gameplay. Looking forward to it. But then also in the same day as that trailer, we ended up getting some new key art images detailing the making of Darkwater, the campaign mission that we saw at Summer Games Fest, as well as then a couple of other things detailing the campaign early access with a blog. We saw the P90, MP7, and the Scar L or MK16 added into that list as well. So that's a decent number of weapons already, right? That we saw just out of one to two different locations in a day's time or so. So if we add those in, we can then take a look at what is a pretty filled out full weapons list so far. Now I'm not expecting this to be all of the weapons because there are still some categories. Like you'll see the LMGs, the marksman rifles, the sniper rifles, the pistols and such. There's definitely more weapons that will round out this list, but this is what we know of from what we've seen from a couple of different locations. Places like the reveal trailer back in June, places like campaign gameplay from Darkwater that was shown publicly, as well as a couple of missions that myself, other creators, and press got to see behind the scenes. Those missions being called Night War, Wet Work, Tower, and Convoy, those showcasing a few more weapons, and then some other locations that we've seen scattered between all of that across blog posts, key art images, and trailers alike. So that more filled out list includes the AK-47 with, as we'll come back to a couple of times here in discussion, likely a bunch of sub variations here that we'll mention a bit more in depth when we talk about the gunsmith's new unlock tree system, but we'll get there in a second. But talking about the base weapons that we know of, again, that AK-47 kicks things off. The M4 is seen, of course, many a times here 
here with an M16 hybrid being somewhat behind there again, coming back to sub variants, which we'll get to in a second. The AUG we know of, the HK33, though that's actually listed as the Lock 16 in game if the pickup icon matches the same way that I think it does. So the Lock 16 might just be their unlicensed name here for a couple of weapons because the Lock name is something that we do see quite a few times in the raw listing and what we saw in gameplay behind the scenes that were applicable. I didn't put it in the names that we'll go over here in just a second, but that naming likely just being something that points to maybe an in-game universal weapon manufacturer, just like how in Modern Warfare 2019, XRK was a weapon manufacturer as well. So just kind of narrative driven. We also, of course, know the Honey Badger, the Scar Eller, the MK-16, and the MCX Spear as your assault rifles. The SMGs we know of the MP5, AK-74U, the Vector, the M MP7, the Uzi, the K block as it's known, but that's really just the PP19, the sort of buys in there with that, and the SIG MPX. The LMGs, we know of the M4 Fight Light. The Marksman Rifles, we know of the M14 EBR, though in game, in mission, it's listed as the DM Mike 24. So that M24 sniper variation in game. But again, coming back to it, we will describe those sub variants in just a second. The sniper rifles, we know of the Remington MSR and the Barrett MRAD. The shotguns, we know of the Benelli M4 and the Mossberg 500. The pistols, we know of the Glock, the Sig P220, and the 1911. The launchers, we know of the Pila and the RPG-7. And the melees, we know of a knife with potentially eight throwing knife variants and or equipment. Throwing knives were shown off in the wet work campaign mission that's actually seen partially in the reveal trailer as well that mission not necessarily the throwing knives but that about rounds out what we've seen officially speaking in regards to all of our key art all of our trailers all of our teasers and also some stuff that we saw from behind the scenes as well but that said coming back to it we do know that we have all those base weapons but as we talked about there's a lot of weapons that could absolutely be variants the m4 and the m16 I'm not expecting the M16 to be its own standalone weapon. That M16 hybrid is likely part of a sub variation of the M4, as is the AK-105 that we've seen beforehand being a sub variation of the AK-47 base unlock of the weapon. Now, for those that may be newer to the channel here as the past month or two, you didn't quite see our reveal videos for the Modern Warfare 2 reveal. We detailed a little bit about the gunsmith and the brand new systems in play. There's gonna be a lot of stuff here to play around with in actual gameplay altering adjustments to your weapon and how you can build them out in the gunsmith, how you can customize specific attachments. But the one thing that was detailed also with that was the progression system, a brand new unlock tree system for weapons overall, where theoretically you have weapons like your base M4. You level that up and do unlock challenges and you can get the M16, a 458 SOCOM variant. We saw the M4 Fight Light LMG variant was obtained via this unlock tree as well. So you see that there's gonna be a lot of different variants that are pre-built here with this in Modern Warfare 2 that may account for some of what we've already seen in these trailers, where what we see could very well be those more specific variations, but they may just fall underneath one base weapon. So while this isn't necessarily the full list that we have on offer, and we're definitely gonna see more base LMGs, more snipers, more melees, more pistols, and things like that, we could also just be seeing the tip of the iceberg here. We could have an ample amount of weapon variants that are unlockable underneath all of these base weapons as well. And given how many different M4 variants there are out there, that's a great example of what this could become. So right now, just know that these are the base weapons that we know of, some of the more standardized weapons we can probably see in the weapon progression system and what we can see coming out of that. So just wanted to fill you guys in here and again, keep you up to date with everything you need to know. We ended up getting a couple of more weapons to detail and bolstering out that already decent number of weapons we had for Modern Warfare 2, but that is where we're going to wrap the video up. So I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys hope to see any weapon in particular, any weapon variant maybe out of this unlock tree that we'll see in Gunsmith? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay with all things Modern Warfare 2 so you don't miss a single thing as we gear up for the reveal in just under a month's time, the beta a day later, and launch in almost two months now at this point. So we're gearing up for a lot. Make sure you stick it here for all of it. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.